probably disappointed that it got to the stage that it did. But I think it was important that as players, we needed to do it um, because there's so much uncertainty in the game. And as we've seen players um, getting injured and all the rest of it, um, you know, it's not an ideal scenario and it, it is affecting you know, players and you know, staff alike. And it's, it is a shame that it got as far as it did, but you know, I think we need to. Uh, what's what's done is done. What's gone is gone. We've we've made a stand. We've, I think, made people stand up and take take notice, um, show the strength that we have as a playing group, and um, I don't know if we can move on now and, and concentrate on the rugby. And the powers will be will get things done, um, and the players will have a seat at the table and a voice. And hopefully we never end up in this situation again. Were you at the park at Wednesday night coming to training Thursday morning? Yeah. Was, was a meeting needed just to say that we're doing this now and that's what we're doing? No, it was all sorted Wednesday night and turned up Thursday and it was all about the rugby. You seem to have a lot of support from the fans, social media, backing the players. What do you think it's going to be like here tomorrow? Um, I think it'll be a great atmosphere. Um, that's a huge frustration across the game for a number of dif different reasons, but I, I hope and I'm sure you know that we had some great support from the public, which the squad are thankful for, and you know, thankful to all the sponsors and partners that supported us through it as well. Um, and I think, you know, we owe. They gave us uh, their support, and now we owe uh, a performance that we're going to be proud of uh, on Saturday to, to repay their their support for us. I know they're, they're a quality side, they're in a bit of transition, same as us, you know, new coaching staff, uh, some new players coming in. Um, you know, I think they've gone back a little bit to, you know, very, very set piece orientated, um, as you'd expect, because that's a massive strength of English rugby. You know, it's got a lot of mall tries, uh, the scrum's very strong, and that's where they set their platform off for, you know, a very strong kicking game and, um, and allow, you know, their. You know they're powerful and talented backs. Uh, you know a platform to play off. So you know I, th I think they'll be coming at us up front on on Saturday, and uh, it's up to us to front up and, and match that challenge head on. Ken, the first two games obviously have a lot to learn about this uh, situation. How much of a desire is amongst the players to sort of give the nation something to do? Just yeah, you know we're disappointed with how the first two weeks of, of the Six Nations have gone. Um, I think in glimpses we've shown. You know, what we're trying to achieve and you know, the second half against Ireland was, was OK. The first half against Scotland was was pretty good, was a step up. But then two halves of rugby, which haven't been good enough. And it's it's taken time, you know, to bed, you know, a lot of new systems in. And, you know, everybody say you're professional rugby players, what you do all day, but it's not as easy as just getting in and getting on with it. And we've seen, you know, a lot of growth in the team. A lot of young players coming in, having their opportunities, really putting their hand up. And we've trained well over the last ten days, and I think you know, as I said, it's easy. Just, you know, there has been distractions, but when the boys have been on the field, training has been has been really good, really intense. A lot of hard work being put in. So for us, you know, once Wednesday was put to bed, it was all about focusing on Saturday. We came to Thursday morning, and it's all about putting a performance in uh, that we're proud of as a squad. Uh, working on things that we've spoken about, we need to improve, and hopefully getting a job done. Yeah, um, I think it's been a shock. It's been a shock to to all the players, to be honest with you. Um, I think I think the well, the biggest positive you can take from from all this is is how united the players have been, and how strong that we've backed each other, and that's from regional players to uh, to international players. And I think it'll be a new experience for the young players, and hopefully something they're never going to have to experience again. Uh, a lot of us senior players and other players in Welsh rugby have experienced, and you know, I I think I hope it's been a bit of a waters off off a duck's back for some of them boys. You know, the excitement of of Mason getting his first cap. You know, he'll be concentrating on that, and he'll turn up and do a job. And the and the same with Joe. He's three or four caps into his international career, and he he's proved that he can perform at this level. And you know, 
he's uh, he's growing as a as a player within the squad as well, and I think they'll just hopefully get on with it and enjoy uh, the occasion that is Wales England at the Principality. Okay, coming to Kieran. Sorry, I've got a queue of questions, so we'll do Kieran. Um, is there a sense that the events of the past two weeks have galvanised the group? Closer together? No, it has definitely. Um, you know. Um, there's a lot of tough conversations, a lot of tough meetings. Everybody voiced their opinion, and everybody's back the decision that the that the team and the squad have made, and um, it's definitely galvanised us. And um, I think that showed in the unity that uh, of of the actions that were taken. Like I said, it, it was a last resort, and the frustrations of that have built up not just over the last sort of six weeks, but it's it's probably over a year now. I've, I've, I've come to this and I think um, you know the squad is tight, the squad is galvanised, has brought us together and I'm sure we'll see that Saturday. And how's it been for you personally, you've seen you leave the team on the field, but leaving the team off the field as well, is it switching between those two things or is it more or less the same thing? Um, I'm going to say it's more or less the same thing, it's, it's something different. Um, yeah, it's, I'm not going to lie, if I'm, I'm going to say it's, it's been an easy two weeks. It's been something that I'll definitely learn from, and I'll be honest, I'll never want to experience again. If I'm going to be completely honest. Okay, so we got Andy, Rob, and then Will, and that's it. Lauren was saying yesterday that he wondered if actually some of the success you had with the national team over the last decade had been over some of the cracks of the Yeah, I think so. I think we've had a lot of um, crisis, crises, and I'm sure what the word is in Welsh rugby over the last 10, 12 years at different points. And it's almost been the national squad has delivered uh, to sort of, you know, cover them, uh, whatever they may be. Regions not performing, but the national squad are, and, and, by, and you know, and different things. And I think we'd be lying to say that. If the national squad weren't winning, would this have happened five, six, seven years ago? Then it probably would have. It would have uh, come to a head a lot sooner. Um, but it shouldn't. But I think, you know, perhaps difficulties we we've had at national level over the last, you know, three or four years, for various different reasons. You know, COVID come into it, injuries, a change of coaching staff. Um, has, has perhaps highlighted a lot of the issues that the Welsh rugby's had over the last 10 to 15 years. And we need a sustainable future for the game in Wales. Um, I spoke on Wednesday that, you know, all the stakeholders in the game have a responsibility from supporters to players to administrators to sponsors. And I think if we can all work collaboratively, respect each other's opinions and actually be involved in the discussions, we'll, we'll get there a lot sooner. So, Rob and then Will. Have you taken the fuse out of the penalty machine? I hope so. Um, we've done a lot of work in training over the last uh, couple of weeks in terms of um, you know, training at a real high intensity and you know, um, sort of rewards for good discipline and um, punishment's a bit hard, a harsher word for idle discipline, but you know, we've you know we've uh, we've put a, a massive emphasis on it, and we've seen improvements in in the way we've trained and how we're training, and and hopefully that will uh, replicate in the game now. But it's it's something that we we have made a massive conscious effort on. No, it is, and you know that's how how teams build their game. I think we've we've looked at stats from when they came here in 2019, and we we could we gave away four penalties and four lineouts. You know, and they weren't in the game for the second half. And I think, you know, if if there's a blueprint to look at on on how to try and to stop England, it's definitely not feeding the momentum from discipline and giving them opportunities. You know, we've seen how how powerful their mall is, and and especially how clinical they are in the 22. And that's what they're looking for. So, like I said, Rob, it's, it's about discipline and being smart. Okay, and um, we'll finish up with Will. How, how your own. I'm good. I'm fine. 
no need to worry about me, I'll be good. By the fact that it is England, does that in some ways help? I mean, all the games are big, No, no I, I think any time you pull on, on the red shirt at Wales, um, it's a massive game. Um, you know, England is, is a huge rivalry, there's a lot of history in the game and um, the boys are just excited for the, for the challenge, just coming to come uh, the Principality tomorrow and uh, you know, some young boys are having their first experience of a Wales-England game in, in Cardiff. You know, new captain Mason Grady, boys having opportunities. Some older boys coming in as coming back in as well with the experience and yeah, it's a new mix and we're we're just looking forward to getting out there and playing some rugby now and um and uh trying to show people what we're good at. And if you were to win, would that mean being horrendous couple of weeks, would that just cap it all off and just be one of the best ends to the worst weeks as Um yeah, we need a win f to get a get you know pride back in the shirt after f two defeats, and like I said, it has been a horrendous two weeks. But we can only focus on the rugby now, and, and moving forward, that's what we need to concentrate on. So it's about getting a result on Saturday to put some pride back into the shirt. I spoke about that in the first so first week of the Six Nations. I don't think we've done that yet. Uh, I'm just trying to finish this saga on a positive.